Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kate, and today I'm going to be showing you an easy holiday makeup routine you can do, anyone can do, no matter what skill set you're at. As you can tell, I already did my face makeup. That is because I did a full face makeup routine that you can watch right here. It'll be in the cards. Click on it if you want now or after. So without further ado, let's jump right into some makeup. Wait, do you guys like my socks? They're Christmas. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. So to start out, we're going to be priming our eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Original. Put that on our eyeballs. Now because I want this makeup tutorial to be something anyone can do no matter what makeup they have or skill set they're at, I feel like if you do own eyeshadow or even if you don't, I will show you another option. I feel like everyone has a neutral palette, so these Tarte palettes. Now this Tarte palette is a matte palette and I really like it. It's the Amazonian clay matte palette, but there is no like shimmery shades in this. They have another one that has some, but my mom has that. I don't got that one. But then also the Tardis Pro palette. Now this has some matte shades. And then also some shimmer shades on this side. So that is what we're going to use today. You don't need these palettes to do it. I just really recommend these palettes if you're looking for neutral shades and colors. But if you don't, you can still do this look. You don't need like certain exact shades. Just follow some instructions I give you. Okay. If you're one of those people who don't own any eyeshadow, like some people in my family, <coughs> Megan. Oh, actually, I think she has one palette. Um, you can also use bronzer. Now this is my favorite bronzer. I don't use a ton of bronzers, but this is my favorite one as a moment and as for a while now. It's the Too Faced Light Medium Matte Bronzer, their chocolate one. Now the thing about bronzers is it's one of the perfect eyeshadows, light brown. See that one? If you want to add some depth to your crease, this is great. You can use this for the tutorial. I'm using my neutral shades, but this is an amazing eyeshadow if you need it. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using shade Vintage. Now, I'm using this because it's going to be our first shade, which is our transition shade, which helps blend the colors in. Now, for transition shades, you want them to be kind of like your skin tone almost, but this is a little whiter than mine, but I like that because I want this look to just be very light and wintry, which I love. I'm going to be going in with shade Bull down here. This is just a very light brown shade and I'm just going to be taking that on this definer brush. Now also you do not need special brushes for this. I am using just a few brushes so I don't confuse you guys. This brush is just very loosely packed and I could just put it easily on. I don't really want to blend it too much in yet but I just want to get that color on. So you could use any flat brush, any brush you have. This works. So I'm going to be taking that on my outer lid area and just setting that down. As I start to get color on it, I'm going to start working it on my lid and your crease right here. I'm just going to be start working it up. I'm not going to try and put it in my inner, but some will get there. So it is fine if it gets on that. And then once I have that there, I'm going to be taking out my inner eye and just laying it down like we did on the outer. So what you can see we did there, we just put the shade bold on our outer, we put it in our crease a little bit, blend it in right there, and then we put some on our inner. Now we're gonna be get back going back in and adding another shade there, so you can just leave it right that like that right now and I'm going to go on the other side and do the same. Okay, so now that we have this on, we are going to go in with a little darker brown color which is this shade Edgy. Now on the same exact brush, we're going to be dipping into Edgy, tapping it off a little bit, and I'm just going to lightly be laying, layering over what we just did. Now you can notice I am not blending in the colors too much right now. I'm going to be going back in and doing that in a minute. Now that we have these colors on, I'm going to be going in with this blender brush. Now a blender brush, it's just kind of a loosely packed brush and it's just kind of in the shape of your eye socket kind of so you can like blend it easily. So I'm going to zoom in and show you how I blend it. 
Now we're going to be blending in a circular motion so all those colors blend together. And at the same time, you see we still have that kind of space in the middle there. We didn't put anything at. Keep it there as much as you can. If you do put eyeshadow on it, it's completely fine. Like, don't stress. So now that we have our base neutral colors down, I'm going to be going in with this shade Glam in the palette. This one right here. You can either take this on a flat brush, which I'm going to be doing, or you can also take it on your finger, which I might also do if I want to add some more shimmer on it. Now I'm just going to tap it in there. And we're just going to lay that where we did not put any color in the middle. For our last step, what we're going to do is take the brush we put on bold and edgy on, and we're just going to tap it into bold, or you can use the color that's already on it. Don't need to add any more. And we're just going to go under our bottom eyelash line and just slightly drag it. Not too heavy so it doesn't get too dark, but just take a little bit on. Now because this is Christmas and it's a holiday season, you can easily leave the look at this. Something super simple, easy, just a few colors. Or you can oomph it up a little bit and bring in some green eyeliner. We're not going to be putting it on our upper so don't worry about getting that line right. We're going to be putting it in our bottom waterline. Now what you could do, you, if you need to, you can slightly hold this here and dip it down a little bit. Try not pulling your skin though, but I'm just going to be going in here and lining it back and forth. Now when I line it, I am putting it literally in my waterline, what that thing is like next to your eye. This is hard for some people, but trust me, after some practice, it gets a lot easier. For mascara, I'm going to be going in using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I know this is not my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but I recently purchased this one and um, I kind of really like it. So, we're going to be using this today. We're not going to be doing any eyeliner on the upper because I wanted this look to be very soft and neutral and not like have that darkness on it if you are going out at night or if you want to have that dark you can do a simple line on top if you wanted to add some liner on but you don't really need to i feel like this is just some simple soft christmas look you can wear day or night and adding the green liner on the waterline really changes your look up and just gives it that extra little creativeness i guess i don't know it just gives it that extra little christmas feel Moving on to one of our final steps, the lips. I feel like a signature Christmas thing is doing the red lips, which I usually use one of my NYX Simply Red. Um, they're like lip cream sticks. Or I'm kind of thinking of doing this, I don't, I think it's called Copenhagen. That might be the name of it. This NYX Soft Matte, one of their lippies. So let's try that out. Okay, yeah, so I decided to do the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, that one. But also, if you wanted, you could do that signature Christmas red. It'd look great with it, go great with the green on there. For setting spray, I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. <laughs> so this is the final look, you guys. Review of it, um, we used the Tarte Palette, Transition Shade, Vintage, then we went into bold and then dipped into edgy and then finished it off with glam. Went in with this green pencil for our waterline. Used Benefit Roller Lash for the lashes and then Copenhagen for the lips. I think that's all. Oh, and Urban Decay Primer Potion as always. So I hope this look was easy for you guys to follow. Gave you some inspiration and ideas for your Christmas look. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media, list it down below and at the end screen. Might be, I don't know if it comes in from this way or this way, but one of those ways, the end screen is coming. 
I am Kate, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh my gosh, look what I just found. You know how great this would have been if I wore this during the tutorial? I could have, like, put some highlighter on and then light it up. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth it or not to refilm this entire thing. Starting to think I should, but I can redo the outro. <sighs> Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media listed down below and at the end screens, whichever way it comes from. I don't know because it flips and I forget. Um, I am Kate and I will see you guys next time. Bye. See, it was worth it. It was 10 times better with these, I know. Sorry.